Just went through the procedure of resetting the remote. Gonna try it now. Up. Down. Stop. So, looks like it works. Now I'll have to install it. Stage of installation is to install this box so I can take that wire and put it into the box and elongate it so it'll fit into the Gem 1 GR1. Stage 2 of the installation cut the wires to the furnace Hubble switch. But I'm going to track, have to track down some four wire. That goes to the motor because I thought I had some, but I don't. Anyway, I have to splice it so it'll actually go around the box once I have it installed. Removing the switch. The quarter inch screws are like a bear. It's like going into cement. I gotta get a socket. The inside looks like so. I'm going to have to connect the ground inside the GR1 box. Obtain some five strand wire. It's yellow, red, black, orange, and blue. We will assume the yellow is the white neutral and the blue is the ground for wiring purposes. The other wire that we're going to attach to, five wire going to the motor, is red, black, orange, white, and green. Just keep that in mind. Got the remote hung on the piling. Cut enough extra so there'd be plenty. That's the GFI that plugs into the power. And the five wire 14 AWG. I just have it strung into the box. All that's going to be tied down with staples. And I got to connect the five wires. Making progress. Install continues. All 10 wires are stripped, ready to put the nuts on and then tape it with electrical tape. Got the wire nuts on, black to black, red to red, orange to orange, yellow to white, and green to blue. And we'll close her up. Got it all tucked in, taped with electrical tape. Ready to close her up and keep moving on. Done deal. All buttoned up. Now I work on the motor. Trying to get a, a 
good picture of the wiring and the motor. Not very easy. See it. I can probably fit a needle nose in there. There's the orange and black is near the white. Really difficult to see. It's all done in the motor. Had to switch the orange and the black gem wires. Just swapped them. The black was on L2, now it's on L1, position 4. And the orange is now on L2. In addition to this, in order to have the correct up and down movement, both reds were connected and the white and the black were connected. I had to swap and connect the red gem to the black motor and the white gem to the red motor. And it works. Now I'm going to close her up. Closed up. Ready to run the lift. Okay, the system's ready to go. Still need to tack in the wires. I had to get some kind of clamps. I didn't like the uh, staples. It's plugged in. Turn it on. And let's do manual down okay now manual up now I'm going to try the remote down up works like a champ I'm going to leave it unplugged this way there's no chance of it accidentally being turned on good deal